Welcome back. So this week is National Infertility Awareness Week, and we are bringing on people who have lived experience with this. And I'm really pleased to have joining us now Chandler Collins. So you're going to be our lone man during this <laughs> week of interviews. And I'm so grateful to you for being here because we rarely hear this perspective. You are a dad now, but it took a lot of work to become one. Yes. Just share a little bit of your journey. Yeah, and I think you framed it really well. And I think um, that was some of the perspective that we came in on is as we struggled trying to find um, someone else that kind of felt that was in my shoes as a, a dad going through things. But um, Mary and I, my wife, we kind of started down this journey um, after being married in 2017, shortly thereafter, hoping to, to grow our family. and. That, that took a while, um, and that took you know several doctor's visits and several disappointments, as I think anybody that goes through this journey kind of goes through. And um, for me personally, it was a disappointment of kind of learning that, um, that I was the cause of, of, of those, those struggles, at least how I, how I internalized it. And um, yeah, it, it took us uh, until 2020 until we were able to ultimately become, become pregnant with, with Zaire. Yeah, so your son is two and a half now. I think um, we'll be popping some pictures up of him. People who have not gone through this can't really understand the toll it takes on you as an individual, but also on your marriage. Try to describe that. Um, it, it can be tough, and I think you, you really framed it well in that the people that go through it know it, but from the outside, I think it's easy for everyone to say kind of those old adages of just keep trying. Mm -hmm. When you stop thinking about it, it'll work, but the reality is, you know, you, you look on social media, you look around the world, and it's and not everyone else, or at least it's not, you don't think it's everyone else. So I, I'm blessed, appreciative of, you know, the relationship that Mary and I had and have, that, mm -hmm. you know, we were supportive of each other, especially as we kind of went through the process and learned more about the cause of, of our infertility struggles, um, she was always, you know, there when the days that I struggled with, you know, this being on me and the, the same going through the process of, of IVF. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, did my best to be there knowing that even though it may be on me for the, the calls, ultimately the, the scientific reality of IVF is that that's on, that's on my wife. Yeah. Um, so being there to support that part as well. I think we have pictures of that too. There's some big old needles <laughs> <laughs> involved in that. I, I praised you when we were um, texting and emailing back and forth for, for giving those big old shots in the rear end because that takes some, hmm. I, I can't take all the credit. The picture I believe you got was from the, the first round and there were, there were two in the second round. Um, although I didn't enjoy doing it, I don't think anyone does, regardless of who's holding the needle, Mary actually did the, the set shots for the second round. Oh, she did, yeah. okay, yeah. so that was me too. <laughs> Another thing that you wrote about in this blog that you wrote uh, back in 2020 um, that, that really hit me was some of the ways in which you coped. And it resonated with me because I, I did the same sort of thing. So my joke is I coped with the three W's, work more, work out more, have more wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a hard reality too. Um, you, I mean, you wrote about crying in your car yeah. and drinking too much, just walk us through that. Yeah, it, 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 wasn't, um, it wasn't easy to write. It wasn't easy to tell my, my wife and family, but it was a reality. It was the reality of, you know, trying to be the, the strongest I could and not necessarily trying to let that be shown. So trying to find ways or finding ways um, when I wasn't at home or in front of my wife, in front of my parents or my in-laws, you know, to, to have that outlet. And so, yeah, as an, uh, as an attorney, work comes easy. Um, so I did a lot of that. Um, it was COVID. So and prior to that, just trying to be as active as I could. And frankly, um, at times of being down, Fortunately, taking some some outlets that weren't always as positive. Um, I, I joked in, in the blog, and it's true. I'm, I still feel bad for anybody that may have seen me a couple of times coming down 35, crying, <laughs> listening to sometimes Nickelback or Taylor Swift or anything else. But yeah. just finding some way to try to get through it all is yeah. what it was. All right, real quick, um, as we wrap up here, you put some takeaways at the end of the blog: trust, hope, help laugh and then this quote i ask not for lighter burdens but for broader shoulders how do you feel like this has changed you um i, I know that it's first allowed mary and i to continue to just grow closer mm -hmm. um we've been married five and a half years now we have a two and a half year old we're hoping to continue to grow our family but knowing that going through this that it's not a matter of saying at times to 
we're, we're religious, not saying, mm -hmm. hey, we, we need less, but that, hey, Lord, help us to hold what you have for us. And so this journey, you know, as easy as it is to think that without going through trying times, I think this journey showed me and showed us that, you know, whatever you have, as long as I'm able to do it, we got this. And ideally, those opportunities allow us to share with the world what can come from, you know, trust and it can come from all those trust, hope and, and ultimately laughing through it all. Okay, let's put a picture up of this beautiful <laughs> child. Because that's, I mean, that's the, you know, you did it. Yeah. Success. He is so <laughs> cute. All right. Um, I hope to have you back when you grow your family again. Keep us posted. Sounds great. Thank All you. All right. We'll be right back.